na 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 Batman. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another movie review. And today I'm going to be doing my review on the 2017 film known as the Lego Batman movie. Now, jumping straight into it. I just finished watching this movie and I have never had a Lego movie give me the feels the way that I have just gotten the feels from. Now, of course, with the success of the 2014 Lego film, when I personally heard that they were doing a spinoff and it was going to focus on Batman, I was just kind of like, that could be kind of cool. But after seeing this film, I'm just like literally blown away. The knowledge that the creators and the directors had for Batman and how much research they did and you could tell that they were true fans of the real source material it just blew me away like if you are on the fence about seeing this movie because you think it might be too comical or maybe too silly because it is a Lego film then I really suggest you go check this out like seriously this film was a standout film one of the one of the top five I've seen so far this year in the theaters Literally, this film was just amazing all across the board, and I can't recommend it more than enough. So, of course, the story we have here is about Batman. He essentially is a loner. He refuses to acknowledge anybody's presence or anyone's help. And so Joker comes up with this plan to escape into the Phantom Zone, which we have, you know, had reference to in the DCCEU and other source materials as well, like from the comic books. Well, Joker has a plan to escape into the Phantom Zone, and he releases all the bad guys onto Gotham City, and it's up to Batman to stop them all. But can Batman do this alone? I don't know. You'll have to watch the film to find out. So that's basically your general premise with interpersonal relationships built into it. Again, this is about Batman. From what, If you know anything about Batman, we, from what we've seen, you know, he is a loner. He doesn't necessarily like to get close to people ever since the death of his parents which of course is totally understandable but at the same time what this film for me personally did is it made me open up my heart and made me realize certain things and it gave me the feels that I haven't felt in a very long time and the last movie that really gave me the feels like this was La La Land and I can like I said this was a fantastic film and I recommend anybody go check this film out again it has everything you could want it has good dialogue. It has really funny characters. It has really funny jokes. Um, it sticks true to the source material. You get to see all of Batman's villains and Rose Galleries in Lego form. And again, it sticks to the true classic costumes from the different characters, including a Joker, Harley Quinn. And it referenced all the Batmans of the past, all the way leading back up to the original ones with, with Adam West. So... I recommend this Batman film, especially if you're a DC fan, then this is a film that you definitely can sink your teeth into and that you would definitely enjoy. For me personally, giving this a score, I'm definitely giving this movie a 10 out of a 10. I really found no negatives. I found no flaws with it. When I was watching it, I couldn't even figure out how the ending was going to go. I kind of figured it was going to go one way. But then at the same time, I was like, would they really be willing to go there? And they weren't. They had a plan. They had a story. And they stuck to it. And they stuck through it. Again, again, I, I just can't highly recommend this film enough. Again, it's just such a fantastic film. And before I go, I want to talk about the voice acting as well. When I heard about some of the voice cast that was going behind this, it literally like blew my mind. Like, seriously, Channing Tatum, as, as minor of a role as he had for Superman... I enjoyed his role. I enjoyed uh, Will Arnett as Batman. I think he did a great spot on Batman impersonation. Had no problems with that. Michael Cera, I got to give him credit on his voice work as well. He did a fantastic job as well in this film, doing the voice acting and everything. Honestly, with a lot of these characters, I basically couldn't even tell. I couldn't tell that Ralph Fiennes was Alfred. I couldn't tell that Rosario Darson was Barbara Gordon. I couldn't tell that Zach Galifianakis was the Joker. All of these people that were referenced in here, I could not tell who these characters were. And I mean, I even looking at the list now of all the voice actors that went into this movie, half of these names, I know exactly who they are. But the fact is that I couldn't even hardly recognize some of these people. So I had to give the director credit for that. Again, Christopher and Lord Miller, they know exactly what they're doing. Chris McKay did a fantastic job directing this. 
And of course, you know, I, I got to give a big shout out to to the people who drafted this story because they again, you can tell that they have a love for Batman and they have a sincere passion for Batman because of the way that they treated it. But again, guys, yes, that is a 10 out of a 10. Thank you so much for tuning into this movie review. If you love the review, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel. Let's see if we can get to at least, let's keep it small. Let's get it at least 20 likes. It would be much appreciated. Thank you as always, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace out, y'all.